Hey, I'm Double J Jeff Jarrett, WWE Hall of Famer, and now it's time for me to play some Guess Who. Is he wearing red, white, and blue? Is he posing? Lex Express, Lex Luger. No! Oh boy. Uh, has he got green hair? <laughs> Doink the Clown. I had some battles in 1994 with Doink. Uh, actually, right here in the United Kingdom, many a battle with Doink uh, during that time frame. So, uh, a lot of fun. I turned the tide on him when I dressed up like Doink one time and I got him back. Especially Dink, the little guy. Is he wearing a hat? Is he wearing face paint? Ball headed? And that gave it away. The good old bald mug of the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. Some of my, the, the toughest matches in my career. Got a ton of respect for uh, his ability. Uh, he has very few peers uh, with putting everything together of, of, of really getting it done. Some of my toughest matches in my career, but I look back on that time frame and uh, we brought the best out of each other. Does he have facial hair? Yes. Is his name Elias? <laughs> Elias, my, my arch nemesis. You know, when I returned at the Royal Rumble, he was number one, I was number two. And uh, let's just say we played uh, some hit music over the next couple of weeks. So I always, uh, he has a special place in Double J's career. We traded guitar shots and uh, we've traded a few other things, but uh, no, he, 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 he's all right in my book. So you got a t-shirt on, so you got a hat, you got a beard? Wow, what, what, what am I missing here? Is he posing? Ah, the Lex Express, Lex Luger. Look at him. A lot of fun times with Lex. We rode up and down the road, a lot of miles, a lot of flights, a lot of bus rides. Great guy. Again, got a hat on? Does he look dead? The Dead Man Undertaker. There's only one. There will only ever be one. Uh, maybe the most iconic figure in sports entertainment history. Is he posing Lex Luger? No. J Jeff Jarrett, Double J? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my old standard pose. That is, do you know what the, the body language of that pose is? I've run out of poses. Please hurry up. I'm done taking photos. Let's go. Try it again. Is he wearing a hat? Does he look like Elvis? The honky tonk man. Oh, Wayne Ferris. We go way back and uh, there's been a running um, debate between uh, the, the two of us. Who's the greatest intercontinental champion of all time? He says himself, I say me. We'll let the fans figure that one out. Is he showing a lot of skin? Does he have a lot of hair gel in his hair? Razor Ramon? Yeah. Mm, there to the, uh, 1994-95. I probably spent more time with him in the ring than anybody uh, at all during that time frame. A lot of good memories, a lot of tough battles, a lot of ups and downs, uh, but I beat him for the Intercontinental title in 1995 of January and uh, took my career to another level. Well, we've narrowed it down. We know he's got a hat on. We know he's posing. We know he's got long hair, but it's braids, so it's really not his hair. Uh, and he definitely has a smug look on his face. None other than one of the best friends, uh, one of my best friends of my entire life. The D-O-double-G, Road Dog Jesse James, also known as Brian. <laughs> well, how about that? Old Double J, Jeff Jarrett. You know, I knew that I was the world's greatest singer. I knew that I was the world's greatest entertainer. And I've known for a long time that I'm the world's greatest wrestler, but who knew, guess who, that I'm the world's greatest guess who player. And guess what? Don't forget to watch every weekend, Saturday at 1030, Sunday at 1030. Saturday SmackDown highlights, Sunday Raw highlights. Don't miss it. WWE every weekend.